Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem nine in chapter eleven. In this chapter, we talk about angular momentum. In this system, we can see we have a person stand on a platform, right? Initially, it's stationary, and then they can rotate free, uh, rotate without friction. And the initial of the person's, uh, initial of the person's momentum of inertia is given. And also the wheels, uh, this person hold a spin of a bicycle wheel, and this wheel's momentum of inertia and angular velocity is given. We need to find this angular velocity for the person and the person and the people. If so, the first question we consider this system. We can see a person on a plant and hold a wheel. No external force act on this system. Do you agree? Yes, so that means no net torque on the, the net torque on this uh, system is zero, right? So the angular momentum is conserved for the system, right? And then, so first one, the initial angular momentum for the system is zero. Why? Because it says initially at rest. That means initially stationary. Everything is stationary. So the zero initial angular momentum. Finally, we can see the person hold a wheel, right? And the person and the wheel. So for this two, and we need to add this two angular momentum together. And then the angular momentum for the wheel is given. I omega plus angular momentum. So in this one we consider it is up. And then we need to find the person's angular momentum. It is I p omega p, right? So we need to find this omega p. Solve this equation. We find omega p in this function. The negative side tell us the direction for this angular momentum. For this angle, for this angular velocity for the person, right? The second one it tell us what if this person holds the wheel at a sixty degree angle to the vertical. So the wheel is in this direction. So in this one, we can see we see angular momentum is conserved, right? Um, in the vertical direction. So in this case, we need to project the wheel's angular momentum in the y component. So we have i omega om, i om, omega cosine sixty degree, right? This is the momentum for the wheel. And still, initially, it's stationary. So we add, we need to consider the angular momentum for the person. So initially, angular momentum equal to final angular momentum. Now we solve this equation. We get the final answer there, the omega p. The next one is about this. Uh, uh, wheel is vertically downward. So for wheel vertically downward, so that means it. Direction is negative side, right? It is negative. And still we have initial angular momentum equal to final angular momentum. So we have IP, omega P. And then this minus negative side tells us the direction for the wheel. We solve the equation, we get the final answer there. The next one tells us the wheel is stop. So wheel is stop. So that means the angular momentum for the wheel is zero. So initial angular momentum equal to final angular momentum. This is a person's angular momentum plus zero. So the omega p must be zero. There. Thank you.